Hoo-ha! Hey! What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris. There is currently strange men in my back backyard destroying my fence. And welcome back to some more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we pretty much finished up the Dongo's Cavern, actually. And now it's boss time. Woo! For some reason, I remember... Oh, I was going to say, I remember this boss. You, like, fall down a hole or some shizzle. And here's the hole or some shizzle. Um, is this on the map? Or am I on the map? I'm the map. I'm the map. Yeah, it's like off the map, which is so strange. Cause it's like, what? Why is it off the map? For this is still a part of the dungeon, isn't it? Why is this not marked on the map? Or does everybody die before they get to mark mark this on the map? And yay, bombs on the map. Yeah, look, look at the first floor, like the, where we enter the temple. It's all like triangle shaped and stuff. Weird. Very weird. All right, I guess let's just walk this. Whoa, wait, what? I guess we're just stuck in here forever. Oh, no, no, not because we can leave, but, um, we're stuck in here forever. Okay, so this strange-looking floor that you can kind of see the square shape in it. It's like, oh my god, I'm totally gonna die from this fall! Oh, that was weird. I just kind of landed on my feet. I'm just perfectly fine for some reason. <gasps> Gojira! It's Gojira! We awakened that thing! That was no earthquake! It's a monster! Infernal Dinosaur King Ding Ding Dong Dong Ding Ding Dong Ding Dong Dong Right, Navi, what you gotta say? King the Dongo? This is a huge Dongo that eats anything! Give it a shock and beat it up with his horns and drop it up! Oh, so you wanna throw a bomb in it when he opens up a stupid fat mouth? And then you go, oh, actually. I was given a suggestion that I didn't know about, but I completely forgot. And that suggestion is sticks do more damage. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, do I only get to hit you? Oh my god! And then he rolls around at the speed of sound. We've got places to go. We gotta follow your rainbow. Alright, <laughs> is that is that all you got? Is this is what you got. Oh, I probably shouldn't have. Oh, yes, I. Oh no! 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 Oh my god! I can't through. Holy crap! Oh, okay. Now he just rolls around again, which is really easy to avoid. <laughs> What is he? What are you doing? It's like when you're just standing here, like, what the hell? What, what, what is the point? There's no point. The point doesn't have a pointy ball, man. I don't know. Open his mouth to bolt fire when I'm not even there. It's like, this stupid. Hooah! There we go. Okay, pull off the stick. Can I jump attack? Oh, I can jump attack! I almost feel like it's kind of cheap, because this boss fight's gonna end in like two seconds. It's like, oh, well, that was a pointless boss fight, because nothing happens. Alright, well, it's kind of pointless, anyways, because he's about to be dead. Oh, or not. Uh, okay, well, I keep accidentally pulling up on him, whatever. Yeah, that was, that was way too easy. I wonder if I could kill him in two hits if I did a jump attack on the first Steku stick. I don't think so. We just stupidly rolls. Seriously, if you have enough energy to roll like that, I don't think you just roll into the lava like that. And isn't he a lava monster to begin with? Why exactly is he dying in the lava? I don't freaking understand anything else. Oh. He's just stuck there. Not even like a classic Zelda explosion or anything happens. That's Aldi, really creepy actually. So there's just burnt up corpses just kind of here. Imagine the smell. Oh god, that smells so bad. Oh, oh my god, I almost rolled into the lights. Okay, let's grab this right freaking now. Holy crap, <laughs> my heart just jumped. <sighs> Yay, I did it. Yay. He's dead and burning slowly. Maybe he's not even dead. What if he's actually alive and you feel all this right now? But he just can't move because he's like solidified in the Look, his eyes are even open. His eyes look okay. Look at those eyes. Those small beady eyes that look seriously about the size of my eyes, even though he's so big, so it's like what? For all we know, yeah, he can still be alive and he's just like slowly burning to death. That's really creepy even strange, but let's go into the light. Banded by the light! Rift up like the douche. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa! Navi flew down quicker than me. What an asshole leaving me behind. Hey, everything's all happy. And there's no dirt patch. There's no soil patch there like we saw before. Oh, no. Oh, oh I remember this guy's voice. It's me, the Rodeo. Well done. Don't hit me, you dickhead. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. Well, that's really graphic. What a wild adventure! You'll make an incredible story! 
I can't believe that the dongles suddenly appeared in such great numbers! And that... There really wasn't that many in there, to be honest. <laughs> in that big rock block in the cave! All the trouble must have been caused by that Gerino thief, Gondorf, Zelda, Princess Zelda! He said, Give me the spiritual stone only, then we'll open the cave for you! What the heck was he gonna do? Was he gonna punch the rock? Was he gonna do a warlock punch, like in Smash Bros. Melee? You, on the other hand, risked your life for us! Kid, I kinda wanna have anal sex with you! How about you and I become Sworn Brothers? Capital Sworn Capital Brothers. No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. <laughs> Raising my hands in the air like I just don't care. My <laughs> he's, like, he's like staring. He's, he's like pelvic thrusting Link just did a shock face as his head was around his Dingus Malinkus area. Why are we both raising our eye arms in the air like we just don't care? Much dramatic. Much V arms. I think we're in the YMCA. Like, you know, the song where you do the letters in the sky, but there's no V, so it doesn't really make sense. You obtain the Gorons Ruby. This is a spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. I'm glad no one. I may. I was gonna say, I'm glad no one licked this, but for all I know, maybe they did. You don't. You don't know what Swarm Brother really means by Swarm Brothers. But you've got two spirit stones. I don't know what, what I'm doing with this voice. Brother! You will keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Oh god, what does that even mean? Hey everybody! Let's see you off our brother. Brother? Oh my potato turds. You did great! How about a big Goron hug, brother? Oh god, they're like zombies. These guys are freaking zombies. And why is that guy still walking the opposite way from where I was? And they just teleport and leave for some reason. This is weird, like, in that cutscene, like, this guy wasn't here, this tektite, I mean. These rocks weren't here, this sign, this potato rock guy wasn't here, the soil patch wasn't here. It just looked all, like, naked. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well... Destroy you. Uh, we're actually gonna come down here before heading up Death Mountain because there's a thing down here. A thing, my bobs it, as you some might call it. And it's this weird, really strange wall that looks like a giant rupee to me. I don't think it's actually giant rupee, but it looks like a freaking giant rupee. So open the giant rupee up. And, oh my! Oh, well, this is awkward. I don't think I can reach that. Nope, I definitely cannot. What? Why can't I climb that? Well, I figure that out. What? Why can I climb this wall? It's not like there's any obvious handholds. Like, you know, in the Hyrule Castle, there's like an obvious handhold you could climb when you're going to go see Princess Zelda. But there wasn't one there. There's it's just. What? They're just a textureless wall. Well, it's, I mean, it's textured, but not like with the correct textures, I guess. Maybe it has a texturing error or something. I'm freaking out. Anyways, ignore the potato guy over there. Let's continue climbing the mountain. To the very top. The very top. And maybe at the top we will see a furry. Uh, a very first furry. And like before, it is covered with rocks. So we can't actually go. Well, I mean, we can go this way. What am I saying? You know what? There might be something for me to do in Goron City before coming up here. I think there is, actually. We're gonna drop these enemies. I don't think these rocks respond, so it's like, why the heck not, right? And they appear to give me rupees. I don't think there was anything for me to buy in Goron City that I really care for, but I might as well. Alright, we'll return to this place momentarily. We'll leave that sealed. Oh, there's a thing right here, too. I'm really quickly running out of bombs. I should probably buy some while I'm in Goron City, actually. Yay, I did it! I did it! Oh, boy! Alright, open the chest. Ooh, it's 50 rupees and I can only carry like 10 or 13 or some weird number like that. <laughs> Is there anything else over here? I don't really remember. Um, I don't think there is. I don't really have any notes. Well, I do. I have a, I have golden sculpture notes, but I don't have any heart piece notes. I don't have any notes for like the items. I can, well, actually I do, but I mean they're not very specific. They just tell me where certain items I'm going to need to collect are optional items. I have a gate to this Goron City. I've never noticed that before playing it this time. Hmm? Are you guys all happy now? 
You are incredible at destroying the Dodongos. Do you mind if I call you big brother? Heck yes, I mind actually. Quite frankly, I am pretty pissed off that you would ever call me that. I probably shouldn't pull this bomb out actually. Um, yeah. Oh no, why am I wasting bombs? I can't do that. I shouldn't. I couldn't. Uh, well, we're definitely gonna need to go buy bombs now. <laughs> we believe both up. Oh, well, crap. Blow all this up. I always just have the urge to, like, clear an area before moving on. Even though, like, I only need to destroy one, but I felt the need to just destroy all the things. And now we're out of bombs. That's what that DDU noise was. Ooh! We will be back here once I have more bombs. I didn't realize that's where that was. Well, I'm gonna just jump down and make my way up. Whee! Whee! That'd be cool. I'm gonna dump that jar and be stuck forever. Actually, that wouldn't be cool at all. What am I saying? I wonder if Darunia has anything to say to me now. Don't stop looking so happy, man. Let's buy this. Oh, we can't. Crap. Buy a red potion. Let's buy a red potion. Eh? Oh, can't sell us unless you have a bottle to put it in. Um, I should actually have bottles by now, but I just haven't <laughs> bothered to get any. Um, 30 pieces. Screw it. Oh, we can't even bet that. Well, should we get 20? I don't freaking know. It's a big waste of moolahs, but I feel like I'm gonna need more than 10 bombs to get what I need. Oh boy, that was a big waste of moolahs, but whatever. <laughs> It's not like it won't be that difficult to get. I'm actually surprised I'm having money problems in this game. Only that's not an issue in any Zelda game. But it is... It is indeed in this one for some strange reason that nobody understands why. Except for a little yo. You say anything else? I know a chart to conserve sticks! Yeah, I know that stick. Just put it away before... It's interesting how they tell you about that exploit. Because it's kind of, you know, like an exploit. <laughs> Uh, is there a reason this isn't lit up? I don't think I get anything for it, so I'm not going to, but, you know, it's kind of strange. It doesn't appear to be anything this way. I'm not going to talk about Goron. I do feel like I'm talking to too many people in this Let's Play, so I'm going to calm down a bit on that. Even though it's, you know, part of the RPG experience, talking to everybody in town before, you know, moving on. Um, and then certain games mind-reading them as well, if you know what I'm talking about. Probably not, because that's not very specific, is it? What's in here? Is this where that fire- Oh! We're already up here? Seriously? Crap, this place is smaller than- Oh no, I don't know the path in here! Oh no! This is terrible news! Oh great, just waste bombs, why not? Oh, okay, that worked out for me anyways. I think it's this way. Oh boy. I'm not entirely sure. It's weird how when I read guides, it calls these th these rocks right here, they call them red rocks. Those aren't red, those are brown. Well, that was a waste of a bomb. That was a waste of a boob. There we go. Um, I feel like I gotta stick to the right in here, but I don't know. I don't think that's the right way, is it? Oh, well, maybe. Ooh, girl, no, it totally wasn't. Well, I have 13 bombs still, and we're getting pretty close to the edges. Oh, no, we're totally not, are we? Well, yeah, we're about two thirds of the way there, maybe. Oh. Oh, we did make it here. Hooah! Oops. Nope. Hooah! Steal all the loots! And get up the bonus culture. Did I only get one heart of damage? What? I could have sworn those things do two hearts. Why are they doing only one heart? Are they trying to prove something here? They're trying to make me feel like a poop head? A lying something? I'm a lion? Rawr. Oh, there we go. We got our whoopies back anyways. Boiling, boiling, the current time is 4.11. AM? Holy crap, like, never sleeps. Uh, well, that was a big waste of... <laughs> Probably should have waited to click that one. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else in here. Screw it. <laughs> Look, all the things... Oh, there's a red... Oh, the, oh, these are the red rocks. Okay. So maybe there's something. It looks like maybe there's some over there. Well, I don't know if these stay blown up or not, but... You know. You know, it's a waste of time. I totally feel like blowing up these other rocks. The ones that I can, anyways. It's like, we didn't go this way. Oh, that's a red rock as well. It's like a Mars rocks. Alright, well, got that sculpture of Mala. I believe that's it for this place for now. Unless we, unless we blow up this guy, maybe. Uh, that work? Oh, it's 
So I guess we only do this after we've completed the dongles cavern. Why did you stop me? Don't stop me here. You can't stop. What? Why is it beep 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 beeping then? What do I need to stop him? Huh. Why did it make the noise if I didn't do it right? Do I need to stop him in here for some reason? We'll try one more time. Whoa, crap. Oh no! You dinkus malinkus! Stop hitting me! Well, I'm done wasting bombs. What does this say? This tells me stop me if you can. What? Hold on a second. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I could do in here. Actually, I'm pretty sure there isn't. But there's this crap. Dude, I'm so confused by this entire place. Like, I don't- like, nothing in my notes says there's anything in here at all, but there's gotta be something in here! It's like, it's very... Obviously, you know, something that looks important, but I don't know what's in there. So I don't freaking know. <laughs> so I guess now I just leave. I mean, it says I'd get a prize if I bolt that guy, but I've done it multiple times, and nothing in my notes says- it mentions that guy, so I don't freaking understand any part of this game. That's what I get for let's play a game where I don't freaking know a gosh dang diggity thing. I do know that eventually you, you blow up the guy rolling around, but it's different somehow. And I do realize it's different. I'm pretty sure you're gonna gain a prize when I blow him up when it's different, but... I mean, there's a note there that directly says... By the way, look at Kakuyo Village from here. There's a note directly that it says if you blow him up, you get something. But it's lying. It's, it's just straight up lying. And... That's so strange. Cause like you can see where the path like starts to the fountain, but it, it it just goes down to a canyon, and that's not the way it goes at all. It's still kind of cool. You can see Kakariko Village from here. A very Super Mario Sunshine esque, but I guess it, it's more like Super Mario Sunshine is more Ocarina of Time esque because you can see the area since this game came first, obviously. All right, let's see if I can plan this out. Nope. All right, yeah, four more tries. Huh. Do I even need to really plan this out? Oh, I don't. Okay. What the hell? That wasn't even an attempt to jump. So I was too close to the ledge when I tried to jump. Jumping around. I don't want that rupee, actually. Maybe I can come back here. Maybe if I'm really desperate for rupees and I just happen to be over here for some reason, I could just collect that. Anything in here? Uh, yay! I remember there being some kind of hole here. I don't think there's anything down here that's really worth it. These places are so weird. It's like, look at this. There's a little crystal pad here for some reason. I don't understand. And then there's rupees, and there's a cow god. What, what are you... Navi? Hello? Why are you green, Navi? I don't understand. I don't get when she's green. Like, you most often can't even check what she's, like, looking at. Look, there's all heart surrounding this cow. What the hell's going on? I'm so scared! Like, I, I, I can check you. Can I examine? I can't examine the cow. There's just this cow here. Like, why are you in here, cow? How did you even get in here? That hole is way too small for you to fit. And why are you here? Are you happy living here? How does it attack you? Nothing? It's a god cow. It's just so freaking, like, what the hell? I'm so scared. It's so creepy and weird. Why are you here, cow? How dare you, cow? Alright. You can even hear the cow from the hole. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, you can tell it's funny by the way I said it is funny. Alright, let's climb down here and oh my god, just freaking rocks and if you do this, they can actually hit you, but it's really strange. I think you're supposed to like move a bit and go, Hua! and then you go, Hua! and then you go, Hua! okay, or they just eventually stop, okay. Oh, here they come again. Uh, here we go. No, okay. Hua! Dang it, it's like you get no time to do this. Uh, well, I'm glad I brought freaking seeds with me. Gah! I should have probably just locked on. Alright, look in between my crosshairs. I go BAM! Chicka lamb bam! I'll take those. <laughs> Thank you very much. Instead of wasting a whole bunch of my freaking. I mean, money on Deku seeds that I don't need. Ah, oh, god, I mean, even though I don't need them, grab them. Oh no! Dang it, I pressed that. I meant to press that. To bring out my slingshot instead of my bombs. Oh, great. Yeah. Stop pressing everything but the button you want, Chris. I'm such a noob. 
All right. Climbing around at the speed of stupidity. I've got nowhere to be. Gotta follow my poop bows. Boing! The current time is 17:56. Those guys are really pointless, except for when you actually need to need to know the time. But that's very rare in this game. What the heck is going on here? Hello? Why is the big bitch here? What, Navi? Don't really you see the Yes, he did. Thank you. We are clearly here, Navi. You silly little titty face. Okay, well, he's not wanting to talk to us, so we're gonna ignore that for now. Oh, it seems we could check this. Alright, let's check it before it blows up. What? Really? That bomb, like, the bomb wouldn't blow up until I pressed B. The great fairy's found. And as you can see, we would not be able to come here until after we, um,. Got bombs. Cause we need to blow up the thing. But also, there's bombs blocking our path. So, I mean, I mean, that was kind of a silly thing to say. But I didn't even realize till halfway through. That's why I paused halfway in between saying that. Uh, and seeing there's a Triforce on the ground, you want to play Zelda's Lullaby. Which, in reality, holy crap! It's three triangles two times in a row. Zelda's Lullaby is just a Triforce two times in a row. Holy crap! And here comes the. the, 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 the uh, I have the weirdest moaner right now. Uh, oh god. Why do her eyebrows extend down the sides of her eyes? Oh, which Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of power. I am going to grant you a sword. Technique. Receive it now. <laughs> God! What? <laughs> Sparkly vaginas. Or penis. I'm not really entirely sure which one. And yeah, healed me up for some reason, but you know, it's because she's a great fairy. <laughs> you messed! You mastered the secret technique! That sword technique that was a spear attack! I don't know whenever Navi's talking or if it's just like a secret narrator of the game. I'll be the charge you weapon! Or at least better unleash a life of energy with your spin. For I'll release an energy without charging your weapon, just rotate my penis and press B for a very effective quick spin. Yay! Ready to char charge power for a spin attack! Magic power! Be consumed! Pay attention to your green magic meter! Hey, boy! You messenger of royal family? Next time, at neighborhood, drop by on a friend of mine who lives Hyrule Castle. Maybe this should be gangsters. Uh, she'll get you another new path, foo! <laughs> I'm changing the voice way too much. Look at her eyebrows go down the sides of her eyes. Uh, what well, battles made you very? Please come to see me. Maybe this should be Arnold. It's the it's the fairy of many voices. Arnold, a gangster, some really strange guy. Um. So yeah, we have a magic meter now. Yeah. It says check. What are we checking? Just that. The crest of the royal family. Yeah, it was inscribed here. So it's two ways to use spin attack. First guy, hey, I used to wear. You hold B and it goes, oh my god, it charges up and the screen around gets dark. Oh, and it charges up more. It goes from blue to yellow. And you go, Then it does that. Or you can also spin your control stick and press B. Yay! It doesn't use any magic power when you spin. What about. Oh, interesting. So when you just spin and press B quickly, it doesn't look like it uses up any of your magic. Hmm. Anyways! Actually, I should have probably ended when I was- Don't you dare talk to me, owl! The big bitch. He's always looking at me. You see that? He's still looking at me. He's awkwardly turned towards me. I'm gonna end off here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe already. What the heck happens if I do this again? Um, in the next episode! Where there's actually another passage beside the big bitch, and we're gonna go in there and take a look what's in there, and then we're gonna talk to Owl and see what the heck he wants. We could just see her. Did she just heal me up? Welcome, Hank. I will soothe your wounds. I will soothe your wounds. Yay! So that would have healed me if I was down on hearts, which I am not. Oh, and probably give my magic back as well. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.